Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're on my balcony. Why, you might ask? Because we're gonna plant some strawberries. I recently decided now that it's spring, I want to be a gardener all of a sudden. Uh, so I did a bunch of research and I found that planting strawberries is a really good thing to start with for beginners. Life's about trying, you know? I'm excited. So if you guys would like to see me plant some strawberries, uh, then just keep watching. So you will obviously need some strawberry plants. I just went to my local nursery and got a few different kinds. There's a, two different kinds of strawberries, ever bearing and June bearing. Uh, I have a little bit of both, so I will be planting those. And then of course, you will need gloves, a watering can, you will need some fertilizer, some scissors, and then a big old thing of potting soil. So the first thing I'm going to do is just take some scissors and cut open my soil. These are my planters here. So you can plant strawberries in containers, in pots, in the ground. So there's a bunch of different ways that you can plant strawberries because they have really shallow roots. So I have three different little troughs here and I'm gonna start in this one. I'm also gonna put my gloves on because you can't be you can't be a real gardener without gloves. <laughs> I feel so official. Let the dirty work begin. So I'm not going to fill my trough up all the way. I'm only going to fill it up probably a little over halfway and then that's when I'm going to add some fertilizer. Now that I have added a bunch of soil to this, I've added this just a little over halfway of soil, I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of my strawberry plants and then begin kind of mapping out how far apart I wanna put each plant. Okay, as you guys can see, I got everybody nicely situated. Whew, tough work. For fertilizer, I made sure to get a really good one, an organic one. I don't wanna be putting any chemicals in my lovely little strawberries that I'm growing. So I made sure to work the fertilizer in by their little roots and now I'm going to add just enough soil so that it comes up to the crown so I don't want to fill up too much soil. the bee. Okay, so I have my first few little strawberry plants planted in here. So, now I am just going to take some scissors and kind of go through and see if there's any bad leaves or any bad buds already and just kind of cut them off. So you want the plant to give all of its energy to the good stuff that it has growing. So now I'm just gonna go through, cut off anything that doesn't look right. Mm. 
now I am going to go ahead and water this whole bed. So I want to make sure that all of this soil stays moist. So that's the one key basically to growing strawberries is that you just want to never let the soil dry out. So every day you just kind of want to check with your finger and make sure that the soil is moist and that they're getting, I think like six to eight hours of direct sunlight a day. Listen to me. I sound like I know what I'm talking about. I don't. Okay, now that I have finished one trough, I am going to go ahead and do the other two, and then I will show you guys what it all looks like when it is all finished. All right, so I have finished planting all of my strawberries. I'm super excited, uh, but the last touch for my little strawberry garden are a couple of gnomes. <laughs> oh my gosh, I saw these and I knew it's not a Cooper garden without a couple of miniature gnomes. So I'm just gonna put these guys in each little bed and then, yeah, that's it. So I should have some strawberries in 60 to 70 days, which is exciting. Um, if you guys wanna see any updates, let me know. Or if you wanna see any other gardening videos, who knows if this goes well, I might plant more stuff. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys again in my next video. Bye. Yo, peep that highlight though. Girl, you can still have a highlight when you garden.